Hi everyone, it's uh, Saturday 15th of January, the time is 6.38 p.m. and the temperature is 30 degrees, so around a 50 degrees difference to when I left Finland just a few days ago when it was minus 19 and we are in Pugis. The plan today is just to uh, get a look at the uh, area around here, go to Waterloo Street, see if we can see some Chinese New Year all in our New Year decorations. And uh, just see how it looks, it looks really busy. I've seen so many restaurants, just a uh, full. And uh, it's a completely different world. Let's see if we can get through here. Completely different world to all the restrictions I've seen lately. So it is Saturday. Can you see out there? And in here as well. Well, like these. Don't really buy any uh, stuff like this. But uh, they have a very pretty. Oh, there's almost so many people. You probably won't be able to see anything but people. Very, very different. See if we can get through here to the other side. There's some food over there. Really busy compared to when I was lost in Singapore. Let's get through here. See if we can make it to the other side. No. So part of the reason I wanted to go out today is to get used to uh, get used to uh, the, not just the temperature but the people as well. Oh, I love this food shop. Oh wow! Here we go. Very busy. I think I want to cross here. So I'm also trying to wider lens for this walk for the first time on the Pocket 2 camera so you can let me know if if that makes a difference and a good or a bad difference uh, I want to go through here I see some see some colorful things oh wow I'm really tempted to buy one of these pineapples one day that's always been one of my favorite decorations of, out of these kind of traditional ones. And of course the lions as well that the lion dancers have. This is kind of like that. I could get something like that as well if I did buy anything like it. I think that was being really nice. I tried to look up 
if there are any uh, events where you could see them. But so far, no luck to see them. I've always just kind of been in the right place at the right time. As well, because, uh, of course, the line there has to go to businesses to, uh, I guess, make sure they have uh, good luck. So sometimes you just uh, sit at a restaurant and uh, see them. <laughs> Wow, it's so busy compared to where I've been, guys. This really does take some getting used to, but also kind of feels feels like Singapore, being back in Singapore. I think over here next to the temples, we'll see more of those decorations. There are two big temples around here, at least. Some smaller ones as well. Usually some decorations around there as well. I don't see anything in the middle. I kind of didn't want to go straight to Chinatown. I thought um, that would be quite a busy Saturday. That's the first, <laughs> first thing to do in Singapore. Almost first thing to do, of course. Been around for a bit. There's some mandatory testing that you have to take see you arrive this is really pretty i like the flowers and with like the uh, plants around this time this is always such a colorful area and behind me there is the uh, food center which also looks really busy so the restaurants are super busy took the bus uh, sort of next to the Sultan Mosque and the Tati Lane area. And wow, the restaurants were busy, which is really good to see. I mean, it's really nice that people can go out and enjoy compared to uh, how it has been in Europe. So fingers crossed. We'll see more and more of this around the world. And I know many of you who, who are watching these videos as well from here are hoping to uh, visit Singapore after a long time. So I hope, I hope at least everything worked really well. This is the uh, one of the big temples. I won't go where the people are kind of uh, praying or all of that. I think it's closed now. Yes, yeah, closed at 6.30, so cannot go in now. Not that I would have gone in, but that's probably why people are sort of outside. There was some limit on how many people can go in as well. This is the Indian temple over here. I already saw another Indian temple today coming here and they had uh, something going on there. So I don't know if uh, that's the same here. Certainly some music around. This is so, so pretty, colorful. Yes, I think people are inside. There's some music. Such a lovely temple. So that was Waterloo Street. Not all of it, but the stretch that I think is the nicest to walk. Let's just uh, go through here. And I'll make my way along Middle Road. And uh, I think I'll try to go towards uh, Chimes and Raffles Hotel. I think those would be nice sort of central city things to see. Of course, now uh, I'm making my plans for all of the places to visit in the sort of first, first few uh, times I record. So feel free to give me ideas. I know there are a couple of places people uh, already requested. 
Let's go here. So a couple of places have been requested. I know uh, I have a list of those. And uh, if you have any other ideas that I haven't visited or you'd like to see more recent videos from them, please let me know and I'll add them to my list. I think I chose a really bad time to try to cross. Just sort of traffic just started. Oh well. Might walk for a bit to be honest. Make some better for Chris here. So I kind of uh, think we're going to make a loop here in a way. And get back to uh, Victoria Street. And now uh, we do have to cross, but it is sweet, luckily. National Design Center on Middle Road. We saw some of the hotels around here. Mercury on the other side. I'll be back almost where I uh, went into Bookie Street. So, after a couple of days back, I think. The temperature hasn't been so bad. There's a nice breeze all the time. And it's been fairly cloudy. Not, but also kind of partly cloudy. So that uh, it's not full on sun. The thing I struggle with more personally is uh, the time difference. But it's uh, getting better as we speak. Uh, I don't want to go to the construction, I think. I've done that before. Um, okay, one more crossing. That's the uh, library on the other side, National Library Building. And Boogie's, of course, on my left now. We're not far from where we started. But it was quite fun to see. Uh, on the street. Definitely a lot more people out than the last time I've been around here. Of course it's also a Saturday. Kind of pushing it there. I think we have 
just a little bit of light left, so I'll see how far we can get. I'd say definitely sort of over to uh, chimes, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Everything seems so uh, green around here. It's really uh, lovely. After quite a few uh, weeks with snow, it really do does look like uh, there is a uh, so much color around everywhere. There's something happening there. Oh, that's the Odeon movie theater. I just had some neon lights. Bata complex. I think you can already see. Probably saying Andrews is that. Must be. We'll be there shortly. I do have a couple of videos coming up, which I think I'll be able to uh, post on sort of the journey and coming back here, what that process was like. And I have to say it was really easy, other than the uh, number of tests. It's been very quick and efficient. the side street I was looking at the lights there I <laughs> just coming to uh, chimes in a moment and of course this is a nice area to come and visit right after coming back One of those, one of those areas. Okay, it's an art exhibition going on until the 30th of January. Yeah, anyway, this is kind of the areas, at least for me, one of the areas that really feels like a feels like the sort of a Singapore city. It feels not quite like anywhere else. And I was thinking about going to some of the obvious places like uh, Marina Bay and uh, I guess the uh, financial center, central business district. But uh, I think I just had to, uh, I think a couple of videos post on Singapore, or from Singapore. So now I think you have a good idea of how much I walked in October when I filmed all those 
all those videos I've been posting from Finland for the past couple of months. I did walk a lot, but my idea here is to get back to sort of current videos and posting uh, Singapore videos from sort of the same week and uh, being up to date as we go and keep walking daily. So that's the plan. Here's the chimes. The restaurants are sort of inside. We're not going to see much here. I'll follow along to the other side. I think there's the another entrance here, but I won't really go in today. I think there's some smoke going from chimes. We can have a quick look. So this will be all restaurants and bars and such. I said we're not going to go in, and then I went in. Um, <laughs> But uh, we can have a quick look while we're here. Still enchanted Christmas here. I quite like the uh, blue, whatever these are, balloons. There's the uh, sort of outdoor standing area on two levels. It's a really nice place on a warm evening. And I'm sure it will be busy as well. Maybe a bit later on. It's uh, relatively busy now, but I saw so many places that were just packed full. Of course, keeping restrictions in mind, so not fuller than allowed, but it's just busy with people enjoying their evening. It's a really nice area out here. I think we'll uh, head out through here though and continue along the street. But um, quite a few nice restaurants around here. Imagine many people will come here for their Saturday evening. You can see as soon as you get sort of into an inside space, it's fairly busy. We can go through here. We'll end up on North Bridge Road. First, one of the iconic Singapore sites would be the Raffles Hotel, like I said. Tried to get here, and we did. There it is in the corner. Now we'll follow North Bridge Road towards the Hunan uh, shopping centre. That's still Zippy's over there, so we're not too far. We've just been kind of crisscrossing our way. Singapore flyer there at the back. You see a glimpse of it. I 
I think I'm going to, even though that's the nicer side, I think, of the shopping center to follow. It's okay to get bored of the lights now. Um, we're going this way anyway. I was just wondering if we could maybe cut through the uh, shopping center. I'll see if I can go into a tune for the end of this video. I think it will be pretty perfect timing to get sort of a, a Singapore video started. And at least, um, if I'm recording this now on the 15th, I still have some videos from Finland that I will post on the channel. And uh, then we'll get to sort of uh, up-to-date content that will be coming from the more sort of last couple of days rather than past months. So thank you for sticking by me while I uh, have been posting from a lot of different times and places as well. We've had a really kind of mixed experience of snow and uh, Singapore weather. So we'll get back to uh, more sort of 30 degrees and sunshine. There's the entrance. And of course, we continued along a bit further. You can see the pinnacle at the back there and uh, the riverside would be there as well. The sky is looking quite pretty. I don't know if you can see any of that. Oh, there's the Marina Bay Sands behind the trees there. And some bears. They look like they have to do with the Chinese New Year. I'd better cross here. I recently saw some videos from inside the capital. It's really nice to have to visit sometime. They seem to sort of have some nice interior design inside there. We're next to City Hall and Martin here on the other side of the street. It's the uh, time of the year when you still have sort of mix of decorations, although Christmas and the year is going out, Lunar New Year coming in. That looks like a nice little market over there. A look at the church. Such a beautiful building. But we're of course on the wrong side of the street. We do have to go around this construction to cross. Behind there are some of the taller buildings in the city. And uh, you can see Marina Bay Sands there as well again. 
That is not the nicest view of it with the construction. <laughs> And uh, what we'll do is I'll go into it's just like into Funan more example. And we'll have a look inside and then the video there as well because we can't pass half an hour, that was kind of my mark for the length of the video. But we'll end by going inside and having a look. Ah, uh, so many people. for the lights if you have any good ideas for where to go they can be places I haven't been or places you just want to kind of have an update on I'm going to be doing a lot of that as well um, leave me a comment and also on what you think about the light lens and if that improved things made them worse <laughs> if there's anything anything on that that you want to comment on It's really nice to be back. I hope you're also looking forward to uh, more videos from Singapore instead of uh, seeing what it's like right now. And we have Chinese New Year coming up as well, so that should be a really interesting time in the city with lots of colorful things happening. Wow, such a long slide. There we go. I would say finally. <laughs> That's really long like cycle. Let's see, let's see. I'll just uh, show my uh, trace to get her token here. Back. There's not much review going in yet. Here as well. Of course, would be around the time when people go to eat, so not surprised the food courts are packed. Well, a little bit surprised, I'm not used to it at all. Oh. It's nice that people can go out and enjoy their Saturday evening, though. More, a little bit more like this tech shopping center has a slightly different feel to the other ones slightly different shops as well that's a nice look towards the whole shopping center I'm not going to go through all of it of course but you can see it's busy on a Saturday thank you so much for joining me for the walk Can we go through here? Yeah, let's go through here. Um, so thank you for joining me for the walk from uh, Boogie Street to Waterloo Street, some of the city centre, uh, speaking into time, and now uh, the Funan shopping centre. I'm so glad you could join me. It's really nice to be back. Look forward to uh, 
going on many walks with you guys. Oh, lovely cakes down, down there. <laughs> but I look forward to the many walks that we'll have in 2022. And uh, if you'd like to see more videos from Singapore, more and more current now. In the next few weeks, we'll be doing sort of more in the past few days rather than rather than uh, weeks or a couple of months ago. So that will happen. And if you'd like to see what's going on in the city, then uh, you can always subscribe and be notified when there are new videos on this channel. Much appreciated. We're sort of over 500 subscribers now, and that's amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, so onward and upward in 2022. Thank you for today. And I really hope I'll see you again soon. <laughs>